Bike ready. We're gonna go around Camelback Mountain today. Here we go. Post 48 hour start of Iron Man race recap. I gotta learn how to walk again. But... <laughs> Great day, super stoked, super accomplished. It was exhausting, but so rewarding. Quick rundown, um, swim, swim felt good. Like just popped in there, just kept a long distance per stroke. I wanted to kind of just finish with minimal effort. Use, I hardly even kicked. I maybe just kicked the first 200 to get out and then got into a ton of space and just kind of let let the distance per stroke life take over. Was it 56? 56, 56, 20. 56, 56. 20. Chilling, long, long run over to a transition area. Um, got on the bike, bike was feeling great. And then mile nine came and it had a nice little flat tire on the rear. Of course, it's always the rear tire that gets flat. And so I had to switch that. I'm most impressed with the fact that I was able to change that thing on a race wheel within 10 minutes on the on the flat exchange. Super paranoid the rest of the ride, making sure that the CO2 would last. I had to use two of my cartridges. Um, I had a little bit left in like the second one there. So I had no spare tire left riding the rest of the way. And I knew I had 103 miles to go. So that was a little, you know, thing in the back of my mind thinking about um, the loops were nice. Um, each loop kept getting windier and windier, which was a little bit frustrating. The wind was like 15 to 20 miles an hour. So that was a nice new element for the third lap. Once you turned on Beeline Highway to come down, that was super amazing because you finally had some tailwind. You just got to just let it rip. Um, would have been nice to have a two by 11 gearing so I could actually get to, to max speed. But mile 90 was the top of Beeline. I, I knew it was flat and soft again on the rear. Um, and I knew I only had a little bit of CO2 left. So I tried to just, keep cruising up beeline for the last like eight miles or so knowing that I was flat because it was soft around those corners and so I just like rode it soft got to the top where the turnaround was hit it with my last co2 it wasn't super firm or anything but then it just took off down so I finished the bike total time was 520 but you know 12 12 minutes or so of mechanical issues just got rolled the punches on on race day and got on to the the run I was smart and grabbed the water bottle off my bike uh, to take with me during the run because the run was heating up. It was about 80 to 85, I think temperature said. Oh, if I could just have the first loop for all three loops, that would have been a dream. First loop was rainbows, unicorns, butterflies, just like everything was amazing. Heart rate was just fine, you know, tempo was great. I was a little too quick, I guess, because third lap came back to hump, you know, had a nice conversation with, with Jeff for a quick minute. Loop two was more realistic pace with 740s. And then the last lap, oh my gosh, my legs were like a billion pounds. I could barely lift them up. I was going in, um, thinking I was gonna grab some nutrition. I tried to have a bar. I couldn't even swallow any of the, the actual granola bar bites I was I had with me that I was training with. So that went to, you know, nutrition plan out the window for that. I just kept taking water and ice at every aid station, putting it into my bottle, just bringing myself down, taking some some water in. Lap three on the run, I was taking just everything liquid possible. Red Bull, Coke, Gatorade, every single aid station the rest of the way to get me home to the finish. Finally like wait you're on your third lap, you're finished? And I was like, heck yeah, I'm going in, I'm done with this. So that was nice. There wasn't, you know, there was only a few handful that had already gone through. So it was nice to kind of make that right to get into the, the red carpet finish line, having, you know, Jeff on the corner cheering, waving me in, it's right there, it's right there. So that was good, reassuring. Luckily, no one was chasing me down because I for sure would have been caught. Just taking a moment on the red carpet, having, you know, family and friends there to, to cheer me in was, was amazing. Mike Riley, that was sweet. He was a little surprised that was my first time at, at 10 hours too, when he called my hair, so that was pretty sweet. I thought in a dream day, it'd be close to 10. It was exactly 10, minus the mechanicals. So maybe, nine. Maybe, maybe 9.48, it's nine. Maybe, we'll maybe next time? Oh God, my legs are too tired to even think about it next time. So it was nice to have training partners there on race day as well. 30 second recap, if I can. Ironmans are hard, as a spectator and as an athlete. 
but the GoPro made it on battery and storage. Do I see myself doing one? I'm never gonna say never. Do I see Chris doing another one? We'll ask him in a week, but Tempe, you did well. As always, go make it a great day. And we'll see you in the next one. What could possibly be next? Nothing can top an Iron Man, can it?